Girl, you're Gonzo. What are you looking at? Tonight's sponsor, drink tea, not beer. Hey guys, welcome back to another Build Your Own PC video. In this PC, we're going to be doing a PC just under $300, which will be capable of a lot of gaming, especially at at least 720p on medium settings on most games. So, let's get started. Alright, starting off with the CPU, I went with the AMD A6 5400K 3.6 GHz dual core APU. Now, the reason why I went with this APU was due to the fact of its very good performance, especially at decent loads and also during gaming. Now, I actually bought this CPU for one of my clients. Now, I tell you, I mean, he's been wanting to play a lot of World of Warcraft, some console games, and it just annihilates, especially running with 1866 MHz memory, which brings up to the memory, of course. I went with a single 4 gig stick of Crucial Ballistics memory. Cast latency on this memory is 9, and the speed is at 1866 MHz, making it possible to be able to overclock and also keep the speeds going high. Next is the CPU cooler. I went with the Logisys MC106 CPU cooler. Now, I wanted to get away from the stock cooler due to the fact that the stock cooler can get pretty loud at times, and I also want to keep this PC quiet, because this would also make for a great media center PC. And the fan on it is rated at 52 CFMs per meter, or something like that. But anyway, next, getting on to the motherboard. I went with the MSI FM2-A55M-E33 Micro ATX motherboard. The reason why I went with this motherboard was because of its very good value for the dollar. It has everything that you will need to get you started with this basic gaming computer. For storage, this is where I did not skimp out on. I went with the Seagate Barracuda 1TB 7200RPM hard drive. Now, sitting at around $60, hell, that's really good for 1TB. So that's what drew me in was the price and it has really good reviews and also 64 megabytes of cache so you will get that extra speed for the case. I went with the DIY PC DIY-6811BK. Now this is a very basic computer case. It includes just a single 80mm fan, but if you want to squeeze a few extra dollars, get an aftermarket fan if you can, so you can get more air, exhaust and air of the case. And it just looks like a very decent PC case. And I've used this for one of my friend's builds, and I tell him, it looks very sleek, but, however, is a major fingerprint magnet. Well, the power supply, I cheaped out on again. Yep, I did. Never cheap out on the power supply, but I've actually had experience with this power supply. <sighs> Fix my hair a little bit. Okay. I went with the Logisys 480-watt power supply. Now, going with 480 watts, it will give you plenty of room to actually do some upgrades. And I've had experience with Logisys power supplies and I've got one running in my servers been going on for about two years. Has not had a single hiccup. And for the optical drive, I want the Samsung SH-224BB. Simple as that. Alright, so getting down to all the pricing and all that includes shipping, taxes, and all that. But pricing is not guaranteed to be constant forever. Same prices are due to change at any time. But anyway, Let's have a crack at it. We hit just under $3 under their $300 budget, sitting at $296.98. So this is U.S. American dollars, and for this type of rig, it would actually do a really nice job, and you would be able to have a little bit of headroom to overclock. So anyway, I hope this rig would be able to help a lot of the people kill their consoles. It would also be good for the people who want to get into PC gaming, but yet keep their consoles. Alright, I hope this video has helped you out make a decision whether to build a new gaming rig or not. And it will also be able to help you make decisions on what parts to get and all that. And if you have 
any questions about this build, feel free to let me know at scullbus at gmail.com. Please rate this video as a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'll be bringing up more videos later on this month. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at scullbus at gmail.com. Some of those questions can include different gaming builds and all that. Any tech questions, some networking questions, maybe some programming questions I might be able to help out with. So please email me with any form of question and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. You have a very nice day.